Okay, we are going to be testing now the 58 Element Max with the adapter, the air bottle adapter sent to me by Bintac at BintacLLC.com. And I've got this big monster uh, 1100cc or 1.1 liter bottle uh, from Amazon. Again, this was on the S45 you guys see me in videos with. So I stuck it on the back and of course uh, the Neil Clegg suppressor on the front to keep the sounds quiet. And guys, I am telling you, you got to get volume. Okay, this little short three three shot air tank is great uh, just for jumping and going. But if you want consistency, better shot string, you need more volume. Doesn't have to be this big of a volume. Again, this is I'm playing with this because it's all we got. Um, but after doing the uh, 50 cal, now we're doing this, we're getting the same quality spread, or just more shots because there's more air. So I was doing 15 to 17 shots with this one, where I was doing 12 with the 50. And my end result is uh, when I'm in the mid 650 feet a second range is my stopping point. And that's also putting me right around 2,200 to 2,000 PSI left in the setup. So that's kind of the same stopping point I've done for both these. Um, because really for a hollow point to be doing its job, you, you need to be 750 and above. I personally like the 800 feet per second as the minimum to dump, to get that energy, to do have the bullet do what it's, it's a tool for a job. And if it's going real slow, it's just going to act like a dumb, dumb solid, which is what's the, why you're paying me for slow bullets. You need a fast bullet. So, Okay, 5, 10, 15. We'll stop there. Again, super long gorilla arms. So, as I said before, the idea would be to have like a 300cc or less in the back so it's shorter for the shoulder and then full length air tube in the front. Uh, that would, I think, give you the perfect harmonic balance of air flow and volume behind each bullet so we shot the 302 uh, the 400 which is my number one hunting bullet and the 460 okay uh, only shot three kind of a light medium and heavy uh, because in the previous testing the real heavy bullets just dogged out I mean we're just the 600 feet slow why, why waste bullets lead in air if it's just going to be dog slow? But this setup with the bigger air tank really gave me consistency with the 400 grain into 460. The 302, I was getting like hiccups. I don't know if it's valve lock or it's hiccuping, but it would be, you know, 900 something 850 900 something 850 it was back and it was hiccuping um, so I think that has to do with the lighter bullet and and maybe there's too much airflow with this bigger bottle again I need to try the smaller bottle on the back to see how that lighter bullet works but still 
the numbers were great. A bullet was screaming that 302 uh, on the average uh, 545 foot pounds. Ending it shot at 17 bullets, ending uh, at 700 feet a second on shot 17, which is like 328. Uh, the 400 grain, which I liked so much better, uh, started in the 830s and declined all the way down, bullet 15 at 654. So 613 foot pounds down to 379. And then the 460, which really surprised me, um, because it, with the short tank, uh, my fastest shot was like 770, 777, if you look at the previous chart. But this, I'm in the 830s in the first several shots, and it's slowly dropping. There's a good 10, 20 feet per second decline as it goes down, ending a shot 15, 672 feet a second, or 461 foot-pounds. Uh, so 708 at the high foot-pounds. 461 at the low foot pounds. Um, very pleased. Adding air does help this rifle immensely. So, you know, my recommendation is if you can order it with the shorty in the back and the longy in the front, you're going to have a quality spread all the way across. Uh, more shots. Even if you're only getting six, you're going to get six good ones versus you know, high, medium, and low for three shots. Um, so work within your budget, what you can afford. Uh, but this is part of the R&D. I've just went through close to, well, between the two rifles, 135 bullets in testing. So I'm spending my time and money, so you don't have to, brother. Um, again, uh, if you're looking for a bottle adapter, Bintac LLC, Big Bin sent this to me um, if you do decide to put a big old fatty on the back you're going to have some type of shoulder piece you know Ian at uh, Big Air Guns made this for me on his 3D printer um, still doesn't pocket good in the lead sled I had to put a little you'll see a piece of wedge of foam uh, but it's it's screaming brother it's screaming so again orangutan spider monkey arms if you're going to have the big full length bottles um, but you know if all you do is stick the gun out the window and let it rest on the windowsill it really doesn't make a difference and then you know you move the scope for whatever eye relief you need uh, but man these things are DNA dead nuts accurate with this extra airflow because it's just stacking these bullets at least in the basement it's tossing them bing 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 one ragged ass hole so i didn't mean to say that one ragged hole uh, which i'm very very pleased with uh, again 50 75 yards is going to be the real test so uh you know hopefully next week we'll get out and play with that um but we can get a shorter bottle in the back that's you know that's what i really want to try and the longer air tube in the front so guys Again, boring video, but it's all about numbers. This is the R&D part that isn't super exciting. So, uh, but at least you've got some reference. I've done it. You know, now you can make an informed decision on whether you want to do it. Uh, super simple to replace this on the back. Number one, you got to unscrew your air gauge and take the air out. Because this piece on the back that you're going to unscrew initially that the shoulder piece is attached to is under air pressure. You ain't gonna get it unscrewed if it's under pressure, okay? So just FYI tip, I was cranking on one and it's like, something's wrong here. It's like, ah, oh, let the air out, almost unscrewed by hand. Hand tight, Ben says in his video is all you need. Uh, you check out Ben's video um, on how to install the rear piece, very, very simple. Um, if I can do it, you can do it, brother. Because if I can screw it up, I will. So that's how I know if I can do it, you can do it. 
Anyways, thanks for watching. Any questions about adapters, bottles, all sorts of different assortments on this, contact Ben. And we'll come back at you with something else that's hopefully more exciting. Peace out, brother.